He's a very much expert on post-harvest technology of Pamera and he had developed a number of products in uh, uh, Pamera. And also he is also a member expert for Nera and uh, Nera processing and Nera based pro products of uh, uh, Pamera and also Coconut. Uh, besides this, he handled so many number of uh, projects. In that, the pioneer one is establishment on uh, establishment of Pamera processing pilot uh, uh, pilot plant, which is the first of its kind in India with a worth of 2.02 crores. He is uh, handling this pro project at present now, and he is also the first secretary for International Pamera Association. To his credit, he had uh, published a number of papers in uh, uh, almost 25 research articles in pre-reviewed journals, and also four technical bulletins and two book chapters, and a number of uh, popular art popular articles in vernacular uh, language. Besides that, he, he, he had so many number of uh, awards uh, to his uh, credit. Ex uh, recently, he received excellence in the research award in 2002, Swadeshi pa uh, Pamera Award in the year 2018, and best presentation award for his work done at the, um, in ACRP Palms on Pamera in the year 2017, and also young best uh, paper award in the year 2016, and the Young Scientist Award, he also received Young Scientist Award in the year 2016. So I am really happy to introduce Dr. Vengaya. Uh, please uh, proceed next. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam. Uh, uh, good evening to all. Uh, myself, as Madam told, uh, given uh, uh, about me. And uh, today I am going to deliver a, a lecture on primary processing of coca, uh, which is very important uh, in our uh, South India as well as mainly in Andhra Pradesh. That too, as an intercrop in coconut. Okay, now I am sharing my screen, madam. I will start. Is it visible now, madam? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Uh, yeah. uh, as you are all know, cocoa is a, uh, now it is increasing day by day in Andhra Pradesh uh, and getting importance uh, entire Andhra Pradesh as well as South India as an intercrop in coconut and uh, other plantation crops also. Uh, these are some of the important points. Uh, as uh, I think you are all know these uh, points. Uh, cocoa is uh, mainly in uh, humid tropics and it is uh, cultivated under coconut and aircanut uh, uh, since 1970 onwards. And uh, uh, it uh, grows under uh, story intercrop with sufficient shade in southern states. And it is current production is about uh, 12,000 metric tons. And, uh, but uh, day by day increasing uh, cocoa uh, in, um, uh, but, uh, there is a lacuna in processing aspects, uh, mainly in farmer's point of view. That's why now today we are going to discuss about the basic things at uh, required at uh, primary level, that to farmer's level. Uh, as you all know, this is a uh, small uh, uh, tree native of America. And this is all uh, basic information about. Uh, now it's grown in all tropical regions. And the chief product is um, uh, producing countries is uh, Ghana, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast, and other Brazil. Now it is uh, like increasing like anything in uh, southern India, mainly in Kerala, Karnataka, and uh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. As you all know, this uh, basically uh, about the crop and about the parts, many people uh, will know very well. But uh, some basic uh, data on this uh, the parts it is uh, why we are dealing with after harvest, after maturity of the parts. The parts are. Uh, in general, 10 to 18 centimeters in diameter and having a thick leathery rind containing a, around 20 to 50 beans inside. It is uh, arranged. And the seeds are embedded with white or, or pinkish pulp. Uh, mainly this uh, uh, principal source of coca is commercial product is coca powder, which is a highly priced and highly important product. Uh, nutritional beverage, other chocolate industry and other beverage industry. 
and uh, if you see this figure this is a, a cross section of the pod and so if you break the pod this is inside the beans like this so uh, another picture here fresh pod with pulp how the pod way is uh, visible and inside the how the, the beans are arranged and the beans is covered with a uh, pulp uh, leathery type and uh, white uh, sometimes pinkish type pulp and um, then uh, come to our main core topic why uh, what is the need of processing at the primary level why uh, for this uh, that we have to remember mainly it is a very important as uh, uh, as other crops we are not able to di uh, sell directly after harvesting directly we are not able to sell in this crop we have to uh, uh, take care of many things before selling the beans why because the companies are purchasing beans only not pods but whereas farmer harvesting pods he has to sell beans so in this crop there is a must and should farmer and uh, farmer has to do some activities at a primary level that is a primary processing then uh, coming to the primary processing why what is the necessity of a primary processing uh, otherwise what will happen if you keep like this what will happen that is the main thing we have to discuss today the generally raw cocoa is a very bitter and astringency and uh, uh, it is a not uh, uh, on par with the chocolate flavor it is a other flavor actually uh, because of so many processes so many biochemical reactions uh, involved during the processing both primary processing and secondary processing that leads to original flavor of chocolate or aroma or taste uh, in that it is a, a scientifically proven that there are around 6 600 different chemical reactions will be happened during the entire processing from primary processing to uh, chocolate so for that there are so many processes will take place during the processing that's why uh, initially primary level itself farmer has take up some of the activities to maintain the quality to give the aroma and flavor of the chocolate for better commercial value so for this biochemical process for development of uh, all the processes uh, chocolate flavor and other good properties during the unit operations uh, from the maturity part harvesting onwards there are so many operations involved uh, these are the operations some of the operations and comes under primary processing some of the comes under secondary processing but once primary processing we will do perfectly means then we can keep for storage for longer time uh, otherwise very difficult to maintain the quality of the beans that's why now we are giving emphasis on primary processing why because uh, secondary processing that will take place at industrial level commercial level and uh, one firm can they can go for uh, automation level uh, at a high level they can do but primary processing is uh, uh, large bulk volumes are not able not possible to pull up in one place and uh, automation is not possible and the commercial level is very difficult at primary level that's why one should means that the farmer should take care of primary processing each and every thing that's why now we are dealing with uh, primary processing then the quality of the indian coca uh, current status at present more trust given to the value addition at the farmers level is uh, very much relevant uh, knowledge of farmers on processing techniques is uh, inadequate means now uh, recently some farmers are doing good but they are not able to follow at scientifically systematically and uh, uh, taking the scientific observations measurements Uh, what is the quality standards uh, what is the parameters they have to know actually that is still some lacuna uh, is there at farmers level uh, that area is expanding a day by day like anything why because it is a commercial crop and lot of demand is there high priced value that's why uh, there are a uh, these are the problems encountering the that leads to poor quality at international level so that uh, we have to give the awareness among the farmers about the primary processing level uh if you see this picture i think you all know about this this cocoa parts in a field like this actually uh and then uh, in the entire processing there are you can divide in a post harvest processing mainly processing is in two levels primary processing and secondary processing and after secondary processing there are so many different products value added products uh that secondary processing and value added product products comes under industry level or uh, a uh, commercial level uh, one can do small scale industry cottage industry or uh, commercial uh, high level automated industry they can do at um, uh, level both secondary and value added products but primary processing is the 
main important thing at the farmer's level he has to take care of the primary person so if you this picture if you see the all operations in one place next we will discuss one by one here uh, post harvest handling uh, now nowadays you can hear everywhere post harvest handling post harvest losses value addition these are the giving a more thrust for each and every crop in similar way for our cocoa cocoa also uh, now post harvest handling is the main important uh, thing in the entire value chain uh, in this harvesting uh, there are the, uh, in briefly these are the operations unit operations involved in uh, post harvest handling harvesting then uh, uniform fermentation of the pod uniform maturity suppose uh, yeah, every day one pod like that we are not able to harvest that's why parts may not mature uh, at a time uh, one day all parts some uneven some uh, uh, plus or minus is there for that we have to harvest the parts and keep the keep in the keep form for some days for uniform maturity for uniform initiation of the fermentation after that we have to do go for pod breaking then uh, then uh, beads that is as i told earlier 22 to 50 beans available in each pod and uh, an average 30 to 35 wet beans in the pod then parts will be uh, uh, kept for fermentation for uh, this is the main important process for entire uh, value chain or entire processing aspects of the cocoa uh, for that we have to see the moisture level and color of the beans and uh, how it is happening you have to observe each and everything after that you have to go for drying drying is that to reduce the moisture content for the safe storage uh, then grading based on the size color uh, we have to grade the beans and we can uh, store for uh, a better price and we, we can store for uh, uh, off season selling we can store for secondary processing uh, this is the entire primary processing involves these are the unit operations uh, in a pictorial form also same thing in unit operations uh, is yes, parts harvesting parts breaking and uh, fermentation and drying and uh, storage then go for a secondary processing that is uh, uh, that uh, very little we will discuss in last secondary processing also then um, coming to the primary processing uh, if you see uh, about 90% of the coca is a solid as a part is in wet beans and quality of beans processed by goes uh, is pure due to uh, now what are the problems encountering at farmers level that is the wrong choice of the fermentation there are so many methods traditional methods in general practice by experience they will do actually but uh, they are not following the standards that is the main uh, uh, problem which leads to the uh, poor quality of the beans and uh, uh, indiscriminate mixing of the diseased and germinated and uh, uh caked beans means uh, we have to select uh, good parts and matured parts and uh, we have to call out the diseased one and broken one and uh, some other uh, uh, defected parts we have to remove actually but sometimes uh, why we want to waste these parts we can mix like that they will mix the uh, diseased parts that leads to spoil the entire fermentation process and that leads to even good beans also sometimes uh, spoil because of that uh, diseased parts and some uh, adulteration practices for fermentation purpose they will keep different practices and they will uh, add uh, uh, beans which is uh, inferior quality in the beans uh, this is uh, one thing and uh, and the lack of insulation means uh, uh, they will uh, keep in the uh, ground and the mud and which is a soil because of the soil it will takes uh, leads to poor quality and uh, uh, lack of proper fermentation we have to allow for sufficient time for uh, for full fermentation otherwise uh, uh, it will uh, leads to uh, under fermentation then that leads to poor quality of the beans and similarly nowadays uh, the traditional drying will take us more time and it will uh, uh, problem with the sudden rains and uh, wind uh, like that so people are going for artificial dryers but there also some standardized process time temperature limitations will be there but uh, one can using for to complete early and uh, they are going for rapid drying that leads the quality of the uh, beans also and um, sometimes there will some, some people follow that uh, smoke method it will uh, it will not reduce the moisture content up to safe storage then uh, it will leads to mold formation on the surface of the beans so these are the some of the problems uh, at the existing field level uh, uh, there and uh, other mainly what are the factors influencing the quality of the cocoa 
suppose we have to see one can uh, going for a processing uh, we have to consider some of the factors uh, to maintain the good quality of uh, uh, beans for getting a remunerative price in this pre harvest factors it means uh, uh, as you all know we have to select the matured uh, maturity uh, fully matured part otherwise it leads to pure quality and sometimes that as a uh, parts may be diseased with some uh, diseases and some uh, rats and all that we have to remove our uh, that parts and some uh, other factor is environmental conditions during the growth uh, that the uh, climatic parameters and temperature humidity also affects the bean quality as uh, and a variety based on variety also some beans uh, quality is various that variety to variety at bean size and bean quality composition of the bean also different and similarly agro techniques as it is um, in crop production aspects i think you know uh, based on the uh, techniques we are following while the uh, crop production as well as uh, uh, crop protection uh, that also affects the final quality of the bean and uh, just now we discussed about the post harvest handling we have to uh, uh, harvesting fermentation drying these are all these parameters also affects the bean quality and similarly uh, uh, comes under fermentation drying storage these are the main factors which affects the quality of the beans that's why you have to consider each and every factor to maintain the good uh, good quality of the beans so if you see this uh, only ripe parts we have to harvest that is the main criteria uh, in general far farmer will know uh, ripe parts which is a uh, uh, yellowish color and uh, one can touch the, the part he, he knows about the ripe part so for, for sometimes uh, every day we are not able to harvest that's why today we will uh, cut like that some uh, raw one also they will harvest that leads to improper uh, fermentation and it will not uh, go for uh, further fermentation that leads to poor quality of the beans that's why main and first foremost important criteria is we have to harvest only fully ripe parts uh, for further uh, processing uh, for uh, bean bean production then uh, uh, these are the some of the important points as just now i told matured parts are removed from the tree and with uh, help of uh, that uh, cutting devices some matchets or similar knives attached to the long pole otherwise simply we will put uh, hands on some sometimes people will they beat with uh, stones and uh, uh, some wooden it will it will fall on the ground and it will break down some uh, sometimes like happen like that in uh, uh, some farmers uh, but it is uh, not a good practice we have to go for with uh, uh, knife attached poles or matches now after a day or two the parts are split with a, uh, as a, i told now that uh, parts immediately after harvesting we have to keep the heap parts for uniform maturity uh, based on the parts uh, suppose uh, we we harvested uh, fully matured and it is about to full ripen then one or two days is enough otherwise sometimes they will harvest for uh, monthly basis to uh, bi monthly basis then some uh, some parts will takes uh, more than uh, two days then we have to keep for uh, four to five days for uh, uh, in the form of keep for uh, uniform maturity or uh, initiation of the fermentation in the uh, parts for uh, good quality of the beans and um, uh, beans are subjected to natural fermentation to assist the uh, removing the adhering pulp and prepare the beans for drying uh, just now we discussed beans after the parts for uniform maturity and uniform uh, initiation of the fermentation we have to go for uh, breaking up the parts and we have to allow for natural fermentation then we will discuss one by one uh, each process then fermentation naturally takes place 5 to 10 days then uh, end of the fermentation the pulp uh, uh, break down the uh, Uh, actually uh, four to five days we will keep beans on the different uh, methods like box method heap method like uh, basket method that will go coming in later uh, when the fermentation uh, around the pulp of the bean it will breaks and it will starts to uh, changing the color and it will uh, uh, ooze out like a liquid uh, once fermentation starts it will starts to oozing like a liquid then it seems to then fermentation initiation after that the color yellow color becomes violet color means dark brown color of the bean that indicates the end of the fermentation process then um, 
in this process there are so many enzymes in the pulp it is a pulp is a naturally uh, fully full source of carbohydrates that uh, uh, because of uh, wild yeast and bacteria that uh, initiates the fermentation process and that fermentation brings the uh, different uh, chemical reactions in the uh, bean uh, as well as that uh, pulp adhering the uh, bean so uh, it Uh, due to the proper fermentation and that uh, uh, brown color it will reduce the astringency of the kernel and the flavor of the uh, yeah, the bean in a positive manner the bean are the uh, finally we have to maintain the uh, storage moist content means uh, uh, to keep the storage up to uh, more than year in year means we have to maintain that uh, moist content of 6 to 8% that is a safe storage moist content per uh, uh, Cocoa beans. Uh, if you go for drying, we have to maintain the final moisture content six to eight percent. Then uh, after drying, then beans can be stored or we can go for export. Then uh, here uh, uh, just brief, uh, uh, briefly discussed uh, unit operations of the primary processing. Here are some uh, tips for better quality. Uh, as we discussed earlier, the same only in one by one order. Uh, harvesting ripe parts, as I told now. Then pre-fermentation storage, as I told now. suppose it is a fully matured means it is a one or two days in enough otherwise some we are taking the harvesting time is interval is more then we have to keep for the uh, parts heap for 3 to 5 days is essential uh, we have to use only good beans choose the method depending upon the quality as i told now based on the maturity of the part uh, quality of the part we have to choose the uh, methods then uh, uh, after breaking up the parts We ha- we have to allow the uh, drainage of the sweetening. As I told, that pulp adhering the beans, uh, it will ooze out like a liquid, and we have to uh, provide a proper drainage. The liquid goes out. So the, then the uh, to arrest the ma- mold growth and infestation, and uh, uh, we have to give the proper insulation around the beans. Why? Because any sheet or uh, floor or cemented floor we have to use. Otherwise, that is suppose we will keep the soil means. it will uh, uh, spoil the uh, beans then um, we have to turn out the alternative days means suppose one side it will touches with uh, uh, sheet or a floor other side that uh, uh, pulp adhering the bean will be there then it is a uh, it is a, a not uniform drying or not uniform fermentation will takes place for that we have to uh, turn alternative days and uh, avoid two small quantities as i told now now wait for me suppose if you go for one or two parts means very difficult to maintain these all operations suppose that's why we have to go for some minimum quantity of uh, beans for this uh, unit operations from the starting the fermentation onwards uh, up to storage then um, uh, avoid over or under fermentation uh, based on the color it, once it turns into the brown color it is the end point of the fermentation that's we have to keep on observation for uh, proper stage of the fermentation otherwise it is a, it may be uh, under fermentation sometimes if we keep like that for more than one week means it will be over fermentation then it it leads to um, uh, again acidic fermentation initially alcoholic fermentation then acidic fermentation so for that then acidity of the beans will be increases uh, then it it leads to uh, some problems in while in secondary processing so that we have to check for proper fermentation then the um, drying for drying also we have to uh, uh, take the proper time and temperature if you go for higher temperature or for rapid drying for immediate drying means it will lead uh, leads to uh, poor quality of the beans it will affect the quality of the beans in both uh, flavor as well as the composition so the, generally our uh, if you use any artificial dryers hot air dryer or uh, commercial solar dryers or spv dryers are uh, hybrid dryers there are so many dryers are available uh, for drying purpose for any crops for that uh, for this beans generally it will uh, it will not go to the beyond the 60 degrees temperature that will uh, gives the uh, a very less loss of the composition or nutrition losses uh, it is if you maintain the below 60 degree temperature it will maintain the all the uh, composition of the beans uh, and also uh, suppose long drying low temperature long drying also it is a case hardening and it will uh, uh, differentiate the uh, shape and size of the beans that's why then optimum drying is less than 60 degrees and 3 to 5 days only suppose if you go for sun drying or solar drying means it will take some more days 
but based on the uh, method we are following for drying you have to take for uh, check for temperature and time then suppose now if you come for uh, step by step uh, as i told now initially uh, pre fermentation now up to now we discuss in brief step by step procedure now after harvesting the parts uh, generally fully matured parts in the color of yellowish color but some uh, all yellowish color getting parts in one day one time it's a very difficult sometimes that's why we are uh, just below maturity level so means already yellowish was initiated but some greenery also is there that parts also we can harvest but we have to keep for 3 uh, to 5 days as i told now if it is all yellow it is only one or two days is enough for uh, pre fermentation or uh, uh, uniform maturity of the parts uh, ensure that uh, acidification starts means that the nib of the part will be acidification will take place in the during the pre fermentation process that activity takes place inside the uh, that part uh it will keep if we keep in the heap form then uh, it will inside the, the temperature will raise and it, it will uh, imparts the strong uh, chocolate flavor due to this uh, initiation of the fermentation or acidification in the pre fermentation process a, uh, it will takes 3 to 5 days based on the parts uh, uh, type of the parts uh, as i told now there are so many biochemical reactions takes place uh, during the primary processing as well as secondary processing these are the some of the examples based on the research results uh, different microbial actions different uh, composition uh, tannins polyphenols caffeines and uh, uh, fermentation of sugars and microbial activation and uh, uh, the sugars converted into the co2 and uh, uh, alcoholic fermentation in the uh, periphery of the bean the liquid which is uh, uh, juice which is available in the periphery of the that beans then uh, Uh, enzymes will uh, uh, activate for the uh, entire process of the, this uh, uh, bean fermentation uh, in this there are so many reactions will take place in this further each and every uh, parameter that are the research point there are so many research papers available in this biochemical reactions on this uh, bean fermentation uh, what is happening and uh, what is the ultimate uh, uh, benefit of these reactions in um, uh, flavor wise aroma wise uh, to reduction in astringency and the uh, 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 removal of beany flavor and improving the chocolate flavor there are so many uh, uh, biochemical reactions will take place during the that fermentation process after the, that uh, pre fermentation you have to go for uh, that uh, separation of the beans from the pod this is a, if we see in this picture it is a manual uh, separation at farmers level uh, it is not a two automation actually it is in uh, generally farmers are uh, uh, marginal and small farmers they are not go for fully automated breaking and fermentation and also not standardized at primary processing at automation purpose it is only uh, we have to uh, see for manually we have to break the parts and if anything damage anything uh, uh, improper any infestation we have to remove the uh, that beans and that parts and the good beans you have to collect and uh, for uh, fermentation of the beans uh, initially that pre fermentation will takes place then the acidification initiation and uh, fermentation starts at the part level after breaking up the parts we will collect the beans uh, this is also in uh, field itself large scale uh, separation of the beans from the parts in the cocoa field itself then uh, if you see here then um, fermentation of the beans in heap method there are so many methods uh, practicing at present uh, in the heap means it is a we can keep in the heap but you have to maintain the insulation material in the bottom either it may be a good floor or banana leaves or from proper sheet you have to take uh, heap uh, then reasonably we can go for rip uh, for 50 to 500 kg of beans we can go and uh, generally slanting floor is desirable why because just now uh, we discussed we have to uh, create the facility for drainage of the uh, oozing liquid from the uh, juice the, around the beans which is a pulp pulp is periphery of the pulp uh, that white or pink pinkish pulp will uh, uh, activate the fermentation process and it will uh, starts the fermentation and it will, when it uh, fermentation end of the fermentation it will form a liquid ooze out and it will goes out from the beans uh, for that if it is a uh, uh, plain floor means we have to give for 
it will automatically goes down one side all the uh, that uh, li liquid which is coming from the pulp around the bean then the we can use banana leaves for uh, heaping and uh, both uh, covering also and uh, as i told you no, insulation is uh, very adequate means that uh, proper insulation uh, uh, for uh, un uniform fermentation for proper fermentation then um, uh, every alternates we have to mix uh, turn out uh, both both sides it is needed for uh, uniform fermentation then uh, the heap method generally it is around 6 uh, to 7 days uh, it will takes uh, that uh, if you see in this figure at uh, whitish color of the beans which is having a periphery of that uh, pulp uh, after the fermentation the pulp uh, will be uh, colored uh, becomes a dark uh, that brown color and the liquid goes out uh, uh, it will drain out from the heap and heap will be in uh, brown color it is a fully fermented bean but it has a high moisture content it is, as it was not dried still uh, this is the fermentation process in this there are different methods this is one method heap method this is also in uh, heap method in field itself uh, in the field itself in the banana leaves one can keep for uh, bottom as well as the uh, uh, to cover the banana leaves for uh, heap method uh, in one side we have to keep for slant or we have to keep for downslide for the drainage of the uh, oozing liquid from the pulp uh, this is a close view of the banana leaves for heap method uh, this is after fermentation heap method after fermentation uh, finished means color of the beans are brown color so this is another method this is a basket method suppose um, if, if, if you put a heap method suppose sudden climatic change sudden some uh, uh, weather uh, problems or uh, rain is some problems will be there for that uh, people can practice this basket method then in the, uh, with these baskets we can keep from in a safe place for uh, proper fermentation to avoid the uh, weather conditions uh, this is another method for uh, bean fermentation this is a basket method and uh, another uh, box method uh, now that is a heap method, basket method. Suppose a large scale. Suppose we have a big farm in large scale. Uh, each and everything uh, uh, filling the baskets or heaping is a very tedious process, and it will takes a lot of drudgery and means a lot of manpower required. For this, the some conveyor uh, conveyors they will arrange, and uh, after hard breaking, they will fill the beans in the, the wooden boxes. And uh, then conveyor takes place, and they will keep in the sheds in. Uh, an arranged mirror for a uh, specific period for the uniform fermentation. It is a seven days fermentation method in a box method. It is large scale, generally large scale. Uh, it will be followed. Same thing uh, in box method in a sheds. For, it is a five days method. Based on the climatic conditions, based on the sheds, and based on the relative humidity, temperature, there are already standards are available in various research papers also. Uh, uh, for that, that fermentation generally three to five days is enough. But in some uh, uh, beyond the different uh, climate is adverse conditions, it will uh, take some seven days also. As I showed earlier, it is in uh, African countries actually. It will seven days fermentation they will follow, and five days fermentation also. Then, uh, as I showed uh, given uh, shown in earlier picture, this is a mechanized one. Suppose, suppose in a large scale, uh, we had to do the that conveyors um, uh, handling of the, these boxes or baskets in uh, large scale they will handle they will keep in the sheds and uh, this is uh, some uh, partial mechanization is available in uh, large scale processing of uh, its cocoa at farmer level in uh, uh, some other countries actually but in india it is not practiced still now because here, here it is a very uh, not that much big farms uh, Whereas other countries sometimes more 100 or more than 100 acres they will follow at a time. That's why they need this mechanized boxes for fermentation. Uh, same thing. This is a box method in closer view. Different boxes. Suppose in a single single uh, small scale also we can keep for boxes and we can use. But in multi level we have to keep for aeration in both sides. This is the alternative arrangement of boxes in uh, sheds for uh, proper aeration around the box and. Uh, for insulation and draining facility of the uh, that oozing liquid from the pulp uh, these are the uh, different uh, pictorial views and similarly uh, heap method basket method box method and this is another method it is similar to box only but it is a tray it is the height of the box is very less and uh, uh, that uh, thin layer it is, it is a layer of the beans is uh, uh, very less as compared to earlier one uh, 
and this is the tray method um, easily uh, for turning of the beans it is some um, uh, easy handling at la low level at cottage level it is very easy as compared to box and uh, that um, uh, our basket method it is the uh, thickness of the layer is very high whereas the uh, turning of the beans is very difficult in their method when other methods but here in tray methods it is very easy to handle and the turning of the uh, beans in alternate days very easy and uh, small level cutter level one can follow this tray method also uh, this is a basket method as i shown in earlier then coming to the uh, uh, still now we discussed about the fermentation process fermentation is a nothing but that carbohydrates uh, it will leads to release of carbon dioxide and uh, water content that water goes out from the drainage source then uh, that uh, beans will changes color in a brown color but it is having a high moisture content if we keep like that means it will starts decomposition and starts fungal or mold formation due to the high moisture content so that after immediately after completion of the fermentation we have to go for drying either it may be there are drying means it is in different ways uh, suppose in uh, solar drying uh, sun drying solar drying hot air drying or mechanical uh, drying there are so many drying this is the uh, drying platform actually uh, suppose uh, it is a uh, beans suppose the before drying one can observe the beans suppose some uh, beans are not fully uh, fermentation takes place then some randomly we can check with uh, suppose in uh, uh, upper uh, the figure uh, left side two figures are the unfermented beans then right side the three is the fermented and based on the uh, variety and based on the type of the maturity of the parts little variation will be there but uh, in the last one fully brown color it will leads the good quality of the beans actually uh, based on the it is the color and uh, structure of the bean once it is cross section uh, we can observe that it is a proper uh, fermentation take place or, or not uh, before going to the drying mm. then uh, uh, what are the uh, fermentation of the process as i told you there are many uh, biochemical reactions will take place as i told this is a yeast fermentation pulps and sugars are transformed into alcohol and ethanol uh, it is a, a first actually we are covering with the insulatory material as i told you uh, it is not fully insulated but we are covering it, it will not expose directly oxygen so anaerobic uh, fermentation will takes place first uh, one to two uh, days after that uh, uh that uh, ethanol will formation then uh, it will uh, takes uh, alcoholic fermentation finally then uh, formation of lactic acid so it is uh, initially uh, fermentation will take place the production of alcohol or ethanol after that acidic acidic fine alcoholic fermentation acidic fermentation that both will takes place simultaneously uh, first and second st stage of the fermentation during the entire 3 uh, to 5 days as i told that uh, Uh, that pulp breaks down and uh, drains away uh, that uh, smooth liquid uh, in general pulp contains that the pulp which is adhering the that beans are uh, mainly uh, main content is the water and uh, some portion of around 10 to 13 percent of sugars and some other uh, salts are having that one uh, pulp and uh, uh, that due to that sugars only that fermentation will takes place and uh, uh, that bean color will be changed this is a different uh, stages of the fresh one two days five days and our dried one the different stages of the fermentation during the fermentation during and after fermentation then the changes inside the coca bean during the fermentation uh, as i uh, shown in earlier photo also when you break down the bean the color of the bean is a typical brown color and it is a very good aroma and this is a chocolate flavor uh, due to that it is a uh, indication of the fully fermented and uh, good quality of the beans then uh, uh, earlier we, we are uh, studied about that uh, factors affecting the entire uh, process quality but here fermentation fermentation is the main uh, key process key unit operation in entire uh, processing of the cocoa uh, it is a main process drying is a simple one one can try to reduce the moisture content so for that we have to concentrate on mainly this fermentation process that is the main factors suppose uh, if you take care of all of the things also sometimes you are not able to get uh, get a good quality of the beans for that you have to see what are the factors affecting the quality of the beans in this mainly these are the part maturity as i already we discussed which part maturity is the key factor for getting the good quality of the bean then part storage 
uh, as we discussed about the, the pre fermentation process suppose immediately after harvesting part uh, it is a, it may not uh, uh, uniformly matured it is matured but uniform matured minimum 1 to 2 days is required or based on the uh, other parts there are a lot of parts we are uh, harvesting at one time for that uh, 3 to 5 days is needed so part storage also important then quality of the beans uh, suppose bean quality suppose based on the variety also some small beans uh, beans are fully dead, not developed inside the uh, part and quality of the pulp pulp also that pulp contains a minimum sugar content to initiate the fermentation and better color of the that brown color after completion of the fermentation and type of the cocoa as already we discussed that uh, variety and duration fermentation duration already we discussed that it is a uh, seven day fermentation five days fermentation why because this is, it will not a fully controlled atmosphere it will be uh, depends upon the based on the atmospheric conditions uh, relative humidity and temperature of the that uh, surrounding uh, room temperature or ambient temperature and uh, turning as i told, uh, we already discussed uh, we alternate days we have to turn the beans uh, around the to our uniform fermentation and the seasonal effects and part disease these are the factors uh, we have to consider while doing the fermentation process uh, this is picture shows that the poor result of the uh, bean it is a pale color pale color means it is not properly fermented and dried maybe some uh, adhering moisture is there and uh, that partial fermentation will take place but whereas the good result means it is a typical brown color or chocolate color it is a good result of the bean and this is also same same one <coughs> and as, uh, Uh, it is a salty unfermented and well fermented brown color by well fermented means it is a typical brown color then now we have to uh, end point as already we discussed in some points but here in step by step bean color changes to brown already we had told uh, it becomes a pulpy and filled with reddish brown and uh, acidic and taste becomes loose and detached from the cetoids Uh, once it is uh, fully fermented it is a uh, brown color and it is easy to remove the taste of and uh, once it, it uh, cross section that bean uh, it is appearance center with a browsing uh, ring and at the periphery when 50% of the bean show these signs the lot can be taken out for drying uh, before going for drying you have to check for proper uh, fermentation is it completed or not randomly we have to check for different beans suppose 10 beans we taken uh, Uh, five beans are follows this criteria then it, entire lot was it is about to go for drying means fermentation process is completed then we have to reduce the moisture content for storage of the beans okay once fermentation is over drying is the uh, it is another important one uh, whereas drying there is a lot of uh, reactions will not take place but uh, for storage of the beans the drying is the must and it is uh, important immediately after fermentation so moisture content uh, uh, generally 55% and fermentation is completed the bean moisture content is around 55% so for the we have to take out that uh, moisture content to up to 68% to, to store the uh, beans uh, to increase the shelf life of the, the beans then uh, generally regarded as a sun drying is the best uh, method to ensure the lowest acidity and astringency bitterness and a better chocolate flavor why because it is a very low temperature and uh, it will not affect the uh, any chemical reactions in adverse manner it will uh, natural drying means this is what are the uh, positive characters developed during the fermentation uh, we should not last in the drying process if we apply for more temperature uh, we may lose that uh, natural uh, flavor uh, which is um, available due to fermentation and uh, we may lose that's why we have to keep for uh, uh, proper drying but this generally recommended as a sun drying is a most preferable but some sometimes uh, it may not uh, possible due to the weather conditions and uh, some other reasons so for that we have, can one can go for mechanical drying with the hot air dryer some other dryers but we have to take precautions about the temperature and time uh, the beans are up to dry for up to 24 hours uh, initially we have to keep for 24 hours it will uh, dry almost uh, uh, top layers of the beans and uh, Uh, it will show more brown color after uh, generally 3 to 4 days it will take less to come into the uh, safe moisture level that is uh, 6 to 8% uh, as i told now uh, earlier the temperature should not be beyond 60 degrees uh, and also sometimes 
people to go for early drying to uh, uh, to remove the moisture immediately and there was some smoke some fire they will take place indirect firing so that, that will actually that uh, type of uh, methods are not preferable why because that a natural flower nas natural one we may last due to this uh, smoke and all so uh, this is the uh, drying of uh, coca beans uh, it is around 55 to sometimes 45% to uh, generally 70% percent it is a fermented part uh, beans having a generally 45 to 55% range that is moisture content based on the pulp adhering the beans we have to take out into 68% of the safe moisture uh, then uh, after drying then coca beans are ready to transport are ready to for secondary processing uh, we have to maintain the uh, that moisture content uh, then uh, and due to this proper drying we can uh, maintain the uh, good qualities and we can remove the astringency and better taste also uh, as i told the uh, sun drying is the uh, best method and best mechanical drying uh, not recommended in but but in uh, some uh, extreme cases people are following some areas but we have to take precautions about the temperature uh, should not go beyond uh, uh, 60 degrees uh, this is uh, some places uh, sun drying how they are taking Why? Because in they are uh, uh, raised platforms, they are arranged with wooden poles, and uh, uh, they will in single layer. Uh, uh, the thickness of the layer depends. Uh, it will leads to the proper drying. Why? Because if you go for more than uh, five, six, seven centimeters or uh, around ten centimeters thickness of the layer, beans means it is a dry, proper drying will not takes place because of uh, uh, momenting of the layer is very uh, difficult, and uh, that bottom uh, beans are. Uh, drying will not takes place that's why very thin layer is preferred for uh, proper drying and alternate days we have to go for uh, turning the uh, all the beans for uniform and proper drying this is in large scale uh, open uh, sun drying in uh, different areas and uh, suppose in small scale level we can keep for small one and uh, we can uh, by with hand operations we can turn out and for proper drying these are the mechanical drys with uh, Uh, heat is generated due to that uh, diesel fired or wood fired or steam uh, heat is generated but you have to maintain the temperature uh, less than 60 degrees then that drying will takes place and these are the, some of the low cost uh, dryers now people are uh, taking place uh, generally these are other uh, developed for some other crops chillies and other crops now one can use for suppose we can um, save from the natural calamities means winds or uh, sudden rains we can uh, save Uh, due to this uh, uh, structures that is a simple uh, uh, polyhouse dryer one can call it as a polyhouse dryers this is one dryer actually we designed for uh, chilly drying uh, design this is a one ton capacity same thing uh, we can keep the orientation in uh, 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 getting the maximum sunlight and uh, we can provide ventilators in uh, bottom side to uh, go to the outside air inside and to take the moisture content to top for this like this we can uh, suggest from uh, uh, solar dryers uh, once drying is take place that is a moisture content is around 6 to 8% so that is a safe moisture content then we can store uh, for uh, for uh, longer time in the but, but uh, in storage also we have to take some precautions why because it is a uh, fully uh, it is a uh, attractive flavor and uh, highly some nutrition values that's why some uh, infestation will takes place and uh, some uh, suppose uh, inside the temperature will be raised place suppose proper aeration should be there some raised platform is needed and the gunny bags proper aeration you have to provide for uh, storation in general uh, uh, storage precautions and some smoke fumes and uh, to remove the uh, bad odors uh, generally the, the, actually this is a food product and it is a flavor and aroma is the main components that's why in general precautions where we will take place fumes and all to arrest infestation that is not preferred in this case of uh, this coca bean storage actually uh, these are the main important uh, unit operations uh, for a primary processing same thing uh, in a flow chart manner uh, for um, in a se secondary processing suppose um, uh, actually our topic is primary processing as i told now primary processing is harvesting and uh, pre fermentation part breaking fermentation drying storage this is the uh, unit operations involved in primary processing uh, one can take uh, each and everything precautions in these operation then we can keep for the uh, beans for longer time 
and whenever we need we can convert uh, into this secondary processing material or we can go for value added products or we can sell into the uh, industries so this is the primary processing then uh, very little bit then i can uh, brief out the, some secondary processing also because this is also related to the uh, cocoa beans only then cocoa this is uh, once we are uh, uh, beans are ready dried beans which is having a moist content around uh, uh, less than 8% then uh, uh, there is, in this also some of the unit operations involved sir one can go for cottage level also suppose we have a beans then we can uh, prepare our own chocolates our own cocoa butter and our own uh, things in our home also now lot of uh, videos lot of lectures are available for this but this also just simply briefly i will give some of the information uh, then uh, after beans uh, uh, roasting roasting is the main important process in the entire cocoa processing or chocolate processing uh, during the roasting only majority of the biochemical reactions will takes place and that uh, main chocolate flavor will develop during the roasting only then uh, after roasting uh, uh, we can go for that chaco uh, cocoa liquor are pressed by using the machines that is a uh, grinders or pulverizers uh, where then we can separate both uh, cocoa butter and cocoa powder then with cocoa butter we can go for uh, high end products uh, cocoa butter may be ingredient for different uh, uh, chocolates sweets then uh, high end products and the cocoa powder is also main source of uh, different uh, uh, chocolate flavor ice cream breakfast cereals rts beverages some other products like this these are the main uh, uh, unit operations in, involved in secondary person these are the some pictures cocoa powder uh, bean after a dried bean it is easy to uh, shell the bean by hand itself and uh, after that separation as i told uh, raw cocoa butter and cocoa powder these are the main two products available from the cocoa bean then uh, uh, raw cocoa powder mixed with uh, butter we can go for uh, chocolates and different uh, variety of products with this uh, raw material uh, this is a briefly about primary and secondary products uh, some of the uh, other involved in secondary processing also just i want to give some brief uh, as i we discussed earlier in the fermentation process uh, acidity was developed acidity means cocoa beans are basically acidified it is having a acidity so that before going to the secondary processing roasting we have to take some uh, process alkylation means we have to neutralize the that cocoa beans before going to the roasting that will give a good product otherwise uh, acidity level will be more and it will not give a proper taste because of uh, uh, fermentation uh, alcoholic fermentation acidic fermentation uh, final product of the bean having the uh, in acidic nature for that we have to go for uh, alkylation at the uh, uh, initiation of the secondary processing so for that we can uh, dip into the alkaline water there are so many techniques available in the uh, for alkylation uh, Uh, after alkylation then we can roasting these are some of the machines are available or one can go for uh, homemade with a stove and vessel we can roast these beans generally based on the mission and based on the heat and all it will take 30 to 20 to 30 minutes and uh, roasting of the cocoa beans just now i don't uh, i told uh, roasting develops the uh, the character of the flavor that roasting only gives the main uh, that chocolate flavor and the uh, large compounds have been identified in uh, uh, and during the roasting process actually that uh, roasting also causes the chemical restructure of the polyphenols and uh, uh, to further reducing the astringency component without roasting cocoa beans directly we, have, we cannot uh, take as a food because of due to this uh, small, small quantity of astringency and polyphenols mm. at primary processing leads only storage level but for consumption of the product secondary processing is main important here i only that a brief information about the secondary processing while roasting the uh, beans and uh, we have to after roasting uh, uh, roasting followed by shelling we can take space otherwise roasting manually we can separate by uh, manually that uh, uh, breaking of the beans by we can separate the shell and uh, usually uh, that shells also used for uh, that nips which is a uh, one end tip of the that bean this is also uh, Uh, mixed with uh, and cocoa powder based on the product actually after uh, roasting uh, manually we can shell the beans or some machinery also available for this 
then uh, in a large scale some after uh, shelling of the uh, that the beans then uh, directly one can go for the missionary or a small grinder also then it will give the cocoa liquid cocoa in a li liquid state it is a paste form will get that is the then uh, grinding and pressing after grinding and pressing then we can separate here cocoa butter and grinding of the nibs is a secondary processing actually just just brief out then um, uh, cocoa butter pressing of the nibs and uh, we can uh, there are some uh, iss specifications also uh, sir what are the minimum uh, fat content of the coca that is a uh, low level medium level high level some standards we have to follow based on the content of the coca fat we can give grade of that particular uh, coca beans based on the fat content only that uh, rate of the beans will be given by the traders actually these are the extraction of the coca butter that uh, uh, paste which is uh, after roasting and shelling with machinery or manual or uh, grinder we can get that uh, coca paste from this we can separate the coca butter and coca powder if we see in the down side of the pictures it is two product we can get from the that uh, coca uh, paste then uh, further uh, separates the butter from the cocoa powder as i told now these two products these are the ingredients for the various type of products then um, generally fat content uh, 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 10 to 12% uh, should be there otherwise it is not economical and uh, traders will not give proper price uh, that um, cocoa taste and gives that uh, cocoa butter is the main important uh, component along with that cocoa powder also and this is the cocoa powder character some of the uh, characters it is a it gives the flavor and um, it is brittle at temperature below 25 degrees and it is a soft and it will melt in a, at 34 degrees and it, it is look like a uh, fat fat content it is having a different uh, fatty acids also this is the picture uh, shows the cocoa butter which is separated from the cocoa liquor or cocoa mass and then uh, Uh, after the separation of the butter, uh, then uh, uh, remainder uh, cocoa mass will be there. For that, we have to grind, and it will come for the cocoa powder. The cocoa powder main ingredient for the different uh, uh, chocolates and uh, crunching process to uh, improve the flavor, further flavor and the color taste. We have to go for this process. This is nothing but size reduction. and polarization process only with the uh, help of rollers and in big mechanization in the industry level generally it takes place there the and the tempering tempering as you all know this is a, in molds different uh, chocolates you can go for chocolate making different based on the composition based on the requirement based on the uh, nutrition values you can add a different composition milk powder vanilla powder sugar cocoa butter cocoa mass generally chaco manufacture procedure this is a uh, initial from alkali treatment onwards that is a plain chocolate milk chocolate there are different uh, uh, variety of chocolates are available uh, with uh, cocoa powder and cocoa butter uh, this is about uh, regarding uh, primary processing in detail and the secondary processing in brief and uh, some of the some important uh, factors are just i want to give, uh, flower uh, judging the quality actually flavor of the chocolate Uh, and it means that the flavor and the taste aroma of chocolate will be in good otherwise uh, sometimes uh, quality is not adequate means is that due to under fermentation due to high acidity due to smoking during the drying process and uh, due to mold in uh, uh, improper drying and uh, uh, some other factors also pesticides and infestation foreign matter and bacteria these are the factors also uh, it will leads to effect of the quality of the final product as well as the cocoa beans uh, generally then uh, bean size and uniformity some of the parameters in in general average uh, good quality of beans uh, should be in uh, it is a uh, shell percentage and bean size moist content is a 6 to 7% and free from foreign matter and uh, uh, free from insect damaged beans some of the international standards also given uh, it is a, as i told now free from smoke and free from organic organic matters it must be reasonably free from living insects and it is a reasonably uniform size for getting a remunerative price and other standards also moist content already we discussed and smoke free these are the international standards for exporting purpose also given uh, for uh, uh, cocoa beans for uh, exporting purpose 
and some grades also based on the size and uh, uh, percentage of the count that the grades also given by the uh, standards for exporting purpose some why because some sub standards they will not take for the export purpose these are all standards are available in a, a website or internet on a apada site and uh, export import council we can get these are the details it is uh, every time it is updated based on the uh, scientific recommendations and some other by products also while processing this cocoa in secondary processing then the pod husk husk we will get cocoa shell we will get cocoa cocoa sweetenings when fermentation is takes place that pulp adhering the bean it is loosening the liquid as i told it is coming from the it is drain out then we can collect that sweetenings it will be high sugar content it is a uh, we can make the artist beverage or drink from the sweetenings and cocoa shell we can go for compost you can uh, part husk and all we can uh, use it as a compost and other different products so the, uh, this is the uh, in brief about uh, cocoa processing and uh, standards uh, mainly we are uh, today we focus on primary processing only and secondary and other standards just i touch if anybody who are interested i can give full details and it is available in the internet also and apada site also uh, there are the different uh, cocoa based products also you know now many people their homemade they are making with uh, cocoa powder and cocoa butter which is available in the market uh, then they can made at home level also uh, this is our all about uh, cocoa processing in brief uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, our uh, college uh, associate dean as well as the other staff for giving this opportunity to me uh, to give this uh, lecture on primary processing of the coca kokowa uh, in brief and uh, any clarification any doubts uh, i am ready to give uh, now also otherwise afterwards also no problem you can uh, ask regarding the processing aspects of the kokowa and similarly other uh, uh, mainly i am working on plantation crops palmera and coconut anybody having doubts in other uh, plantation crops processing and value added products also you can call or you can send email uh, regarding the processing oh. aspects thank you very much uh, Uh, madam uh, associate dean madam other staff thank you sir madam thank you madam ravi is there is there any question uh, participants please uh, unmute yourself and uh, ask a questions sir will clarify all the questions and also in the zoom please Unmute yourself and ask questions. Sir will clarify your questions. There are no questions. I think sir had given an elaborate lecture, yes, uh, right from harvesting till primary processing and secondary processing. Ravi, ma'am, Madam, no questions. No questions, sir. <laughs> there are no questions. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Venga, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma <laughs> giving a very, very elaborate lecture on uh, cocoa uh, primary processing, and also you have touched the topic on secondary processing, also right from harvesting till uh, uh, till uh, to make <laughs> very elaborate uh, lecture and all. Uh, what are the factors that are influencing the quality of the, the cocoa beans or uh, uh, this uh, chocolates and all actually this is the need of the our why means nowadays the area under uh, cocoa in andhra pradesh is increasing yes. in, uh, year by year it is almost 26000 hectares in, uh, in the year uh, 19 2018 and 19 now the area had been uh, increased in uh, it's almost to 2020 in the area under coco is increasing very fast so it is very important for the farmers to know the uh, primary processing and also the secondary processing mm -hmm. what are the factors that affecting the primary processing and uh, different methods of fermentation generally for farmers will follow only the uh, heap method of uh, fermentation mm -hmm. but in other countries they are using the box method and the tray methods of fermentation this is the way we have to educate the farmers also about different methods of fermentation and only the sun drying is available in 
ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಡ್ರೈಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿಯಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅವರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆಂಗಯ್ಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸುಜಾತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಎಸ್